What's up, man, gamers? Welcome to today's video, guys. Today we're talking about how to stop the run from the nickel 245 even. Uh, we'll showcase the strong power in today's video, uh, the vaunted <laughs> strong power. Uh, but what we like to use uh, as our run defense, as I said before, you know, play we like to come out in every single time is the, uh, I've actually changed my mind. It used to be the core, um, the cover three roll, uh, if I can find it here. I don't even know if I have it in this book. But it was the cover, th cover three bluff. Uh, but I want to say that the Buck Slant 3 is probably a better play to come out in uh, because it gives you the access to all your plays that you're going to be needing. Obviously, the Overload 3 Seam, you can come out in that. It's basically the same uh, basic play. But, uh, yeah, so the run defense. Um, for the strong power, what we have here, uh, what I like to do is I like to just take the Cover 2 Sink. Um, you could take the Cover 3. We'll take the Cover 3 for today. But uh, what you want to do is you want to spread your defensive line. You want to crash your defensive line down. You then want to take this linebacker here, Woodyard, and you want to re-blitz him. And then you want to uh, spread your linebackers out. You see they're going to just expand a little bit. Now what you want to do is you want to take this safety more, and you want to bring him down into the box. I like to base the line twice so that I get those exotic yellow zones you're responsible for the middle of the field and setting the edge you have to set the edge otherwise this is pointless here you see we're gonna get wide on the strong power we're gonna get up set the edge and the flat zone is gonna come down and clean up the run let's take a look at that in this replay to kind of explain what we're talking about now what's interesting to note about the 245 is as we watch this play um, and we'll just watch it from one of the pulling guards perspective but anyway as we watch this play we'll see that the first pulling or the the point guard from the right side is not in the play at all, as you see there, because the uh, explosion off the line because the, for whatever reason your your linebackers explode off the ball in the two four five, and uh, with us getting out wide to set the edge, it leaves a one on one matchup for that flat zone out of the cover three to come down and make a tackle. Okay, so that's the idea that we're trying to do. Here we'll show it to you if they potentially run it. Uh, flip it because out of the pistol, if you're running it out of the pistol ace, which uh, in my opinion is the best one to run it out of, um, you know, you want to flip it. So spread your line, crash them down, take this uh, linebacker here, re-blitz him, bring Mahim Moore down in the box. Uh, you want to – hold on one sec here. Let me see if I can get the yellows right. I don't know. Anyway, but you're going to have the yellow zone. So you have the yellows here. You spread your line. Uh, base align. I don't know if I'm base aligned or not. Anyway, uh, base align. And then you like to pass commit. Again, you just want to get out wide, set the edge, set the edge, set the edge. And those flat zones are going to come up, make the tackle. Once you get hit, like once you get clicked onto and, and blocked, I like to click off and try to make another user play. Um, the beauty about this 2-4-5 is when you re-blitz your linebacker, you see on this right side it's a little bit more slanted. Um, this is another little tip that you could probably use. And if I remember correctly, it's going to blow up the pistol strong ace right. Just a little bit better, gives you a little bit better animation. So you could try that out if you want. Um, obviously, though, I also recommend crashing them down. Now, what you could also do, and this is something advanced as well, um, and I don't even know if this is going to work, but you might think about crashing them out so that they blow up those pulling guards, and there you see it, it worked pretty nice that time. Let's look at that in this replay. This won't work for, like, pressure, but this wouldn't be a bad run defense. Um, so we crashed our line out instead of crashing them down, and this is just kind of me spinning some ideas your way. Well, we crashed our line out, and you see how those guys just really got upfield a little bit better. They actually blew up the pulling guard. That's kind of the, the what you need to do here. So let's try that again, and let's see if we get the same result. Um, so we're just going to crash the line out. We're going to spread it. We're going to re-blitz that linebacker. And then we're just going to uh, bring this safety down, and we'll man a line and base a line, and then we're going to get wide. Here you see they get out there like that. Again, we set the edge, and we always have that plus one advantage coming down. Uh, so that's not too bad of a little run defense there. You could use either one. The cra when you crash your line down, you're actually going to be able to get some pressure off the edge um, as opposed to when you crash your line uh, any other way. You're not going to be able to get the pressure. Uh, like if you crash them out, you're not going to be able to get the pressure. But it's not uh, too bad because you're only sending uh, you're only sending four guys. And I think if I remember right, you know, I like to re-blitz these guys on the edges just to kind of seal it up a little bit more strong. 
and you see here we just get wide, get wide, get wide, and those flat zones when we pass commit, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, but they got to make that tackle. So uh, that's why you want to put your highest tackling guys on, at the strong safety position and at that slot corner. So, But that's what we've got for you today. Um, if this video you think has potential to be a pretty popular video, if you maybe uh, you know gain something from this video, you might hit that uh, like button below. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, this may be your first video watching. You may subscribe. Uh, we offer four videos a day and also some free ebooks. So check that out, guys, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Check that out, guys, and we'll talk to you guys soon.